Hey guys, so I will try and make this quick and efficient. I shared a video recently and by the time this video comes out, it'll probably not be so recently because these are a little bit on a delay. Uh, but the video or the, the post I shared was a scientific article talking about how um, special diets were not um, proven to help with autism. And so a lot of people in the comments below were saying, hey, you know, I'm autistic and I have a food sensitivity. Uh, and a lot of autistic people were saying, you know, hey, no, I, I'm on a special diet and it actually does help me. Um, and so we need to pay very careful mind to language uh, because, hey, 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 hey. No. We need to pay um, very special mind to language uh, because the special diets, don't do anything for autism because these comorbid um, either food allergies or digestive sensitivities to food are not necessarily you know autism because they're not the same for every autistic person um, we were talking about food sensitivities on Twitter and my food sensitivities are not the same as other people's food sensitivities mine specifically like I need to avoid gluten um, there's a few other things I have to be careful with caffeine alcohol doesn't really work for me um, uh, what else uh, artificial sweeteners you know I can't have too much sugar or my face breaks out and uh, gluten is the really the big one but I can have all the cheese and dairy I want it doesn't bother me uh, but a lot of autistic people say you know lactose and dairy can be a problem um, so it's not the same for everyone. So there isn't a special diet for autism because autism itself isn't something that needs to be treated. So that's why we need to be really careful with our language. That does not, um, to say that an autistic person can't have a co-occurring, uh, food allergy or food sensitivity. And I don't know about you, uh, but when I feel healthier and happier, like I feel healthier, I'm happier, I'm more pleasant to be around because I don't feel bad. No, Nobody is, you know, people, people don't, aren't fun to interact with when they're sick or when they're feeling miserable. Nobody is because you're feeling miserable. So yeah, it would make sense, you know, that possibly, or that a diet for an autistic person who has a digestive or a food sensitivity or an allergy would make them healthier. And I do want to make a point to note that there are a lot of autistic people um, who, you know, say they have food sensitivities and digestive issues. Uh, so just really, you know, that, but that's not, you know, specifically autism. Not all autistic people even say they have food issues or digestive issues. Uh, so that's just something that has a high likelihood of co-occurrence uh, with autistic people is stomach issues and food sensitivity. Uh, so, you know, you're, it's, it's not, you know, the autism that you're trying to treat because autism isn't something that can be treated. It's not a disease. It's not a sickness. It's not an illness. Uh, it's a state of being. Although, you know, if you want to treat something, um, you can treat my IBS and the digestive issues. You can treat anxiety. Um, you can treat epilepsy. Uh, but you can't treat autism uh, because autism isn't something that will go away. Uh, it's something, you know, it's, it's just, it's your experience. Uh, so those are just my thoughts. And um, let me know, you know, your thoughts below, uh, you know, let me know if you have, you know, food sensitivities and foods you need to avoid. Uh, you know, I've, I've seen so far that they're very different. Everyone has different things. Uh, so, and that's why I'm saying this, you know, this conversation topic of autism and special diets, you know, we just need to have it very carefully because um, the problem is, you know, we have parents who who think they can cure autism because it's a, it sounds like it's a disease or it's something that can be cured with a diet. Um, and that's not the case. And we, you know, it's misinformation that we need to um, work really hard to combat and to fight. Uh, so anyway, guys, those are just my thoughts. Thank you so much. Uh, if you found this helpful, give me a thumbs up. And if you think someone else uh, should hear this message, go ahead and hit share. I will talk to you next week. I put out new videos every Wednesday.